Okay, so it's four o'clock in the morning and we're leaving for where are we going? We're going to Mozambique where the weather is warm and the prawns are sweet. Putting up the pole and the pole collapsed. The end piece is broken off. So we're going to need to fix that. I'm going to drill new holes in the pole because they've looked out for these screws. But to avoid having to screw drill this which is going to be quite hard. I need to get these screws out. I'm not going to have to drill in here, I'm just going to drill in the pole. Sailing. Well done, you got it fixed. Yeah. Look okay, at well, it's up and working now. Time for coffee. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Skippers on watch, girls are sleeping. We've got my favorite sail setup going on here. The Genoa out on the port side on a pole. Thanks, handyman Robin, for fixing that. And our main is out on the starboard side with a job preventer. It's what we call gull winging. And it's really cool because it balances the boat out really nicely. The wind is about 18 to 22 knots, um, and we're doing really well. This is great. Lacquer sailing. Tell me why you like girl winging. It looks cool. It looks cool. I yeah. like it that it's really balanced. Mm. That is well. Okay, so a jab preventer is basically exactly that. So you need a line on your boom and run it down. And what we do is we run it down onto our winch. Um, and what it does is it prevents the boom from jabbing when you are sailing down it. Why is it so gnarly out here? So we're experiencing uh, first hand the Mozambique current. And we're doing seven, eight knots through the water and um, two and a half, three knots over land. So we're hitting four, five knots of counter current. And as you can see the sea state, it's very choppy and mixed up sea but you've got wind blowing against current. So we put the motor on and to get our bow speed back up because what happens when your bow speed drops the, 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 the wild horses in there catch up with you, you're not going fast enough. So we put the motor on to get our bow speed back up and we've come 25 degrees inch inshore. So I think, um, I 
think the next half an hour or so we'll be out of this out of this current. Mm -hmm. On the dumps. Tuna. We had a uh, exhausted red flower with blood out of the red meat. Um, I don't want to leave in the water for too long. This is you know, full of Zambezi sharks, bull sharks. And we could find them we'll lose our fish. So we're going to bleed them for a bit, leave them on the sugar scoop. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Dropped off quite a bit, so we motor sailing with, uh, with the jib pulled out. It's been a little frustrating when coming and going, changing direction, and I've done a whole bunch of sail changes. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, we should be at Ponte d'Oro Point in about two hours, so just as a starting to get light. Hopefully we'll get a view of the point and um, if all goes well we'll get to New Yorker around between 1 and 3 p.m. So yeah, that's what it is. The girls are both sleeping. Mori is sleeping out here in the cockpit and Charlotte's asleep in the saloon. And just as the sun has risen over the majestical Mozambique coastline, so shall the Mozambique flag rise on seascape. Do -do 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 -do. Well, what do you think I am? I don't know. You think I'm the the slave galley? No. You know what you're gonna get? What? Oi boys tea and a rusk, baby. Thank you. I think we're a whale. I should taste that we're not. They attach themselves to the fish and they eat scraps that we've done. Shark or a whale shark. You think we're a shark? Yeah.
that's Santa Maria. Okay. And that is Inyaka Island. So the gap between here is called Hell's Gate. And it separates the island from the mainland. Don't miss our next episode. We sail into Maputo to check in, get bumped around in a storm, and have some fun sailing back to the island. <laughs>